keep it rolling with the World Cup feature and focus because a lot of new jerseys and kits for the 2022 World Cup have been released in the last few days. There's been a lot of reaction uh, to national team shirts, specifically the USMNT jersey. A um, lot of raised eyebrows, shall we say, about the latter. Uh, we've ranked them all over at Pro Soccer Talk on NBCSports.com, so you can head over to the site for that lovely post and look through all the jerseys, home and away, and see what you think of them. But I'm just going to go straight to it. Nick, what are your thoughts on the USMNT jerseys, especially the home kit? Just go go at it. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I Do you remember the dinner bib jersey? I don't know if that's what other people called it, but with the circle number in the middle. Um, yeah. This, to me, is a sem- World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a fun time. I had a Boca Negra shirt. It was cool in the sense that it was a U.S. shirt. And they're always going to sell. And I think that the, the justification will always be, did you see how many we sold? Well, yeah, it's a World Cup. And it's a U.S. jersey for the World Cup. I just don't like it. It's, it's bland. Um, I'm not a big, uh, although my son, listen, this is a cool thing about getting older. I have an 11-year-old son who loves soccer and kits. Uh, he pointed out, oh, I think it's cool that the logo's in the center. And we've seen a lot of teams do that now. So maybe that's just me being old. But other than that, it just looks too much like, hey, let's take one element from all of the other jerseys and splash them together, and I hope you like it. Because when you think about the white jersey that had the kind of gradients going across it in the blue stripes a couple of years ago, that was cool. Um, The Waldo one had a chance to potentially become, you know, the staple look. And I guess I'm just kind of jealous of that. I look at Mexico's jersey, both of them, but especially the green home one, and you kind of know what you're getting. And I, I want my team to have an identity, and I just don't feel like this shirt accomplishes that. The blue one's cool. But the one that the my main takeaway is the white one. I want your guys' thoughts on that. Well, Andy and I were chatting about this earlier before the show, and we aren't sure if the blue one is just looks good because it's next to <laughs> really bad. Yeah. So it's the best yeah. of the bad bunch. But um, yeah, it's just it's clean, simple. It, it is it is a white US kit. That's it. That is it. It's just the home jersey. It's very generic, and I think. Most people would think, oh, yeah, if you pop to a store and you need a, a, a jersey for a pickup game and they're like, oh, we're playing in, in white tonight, guys, then you go and pick up a shirt like that. And you'd expect something a bit different for the premier tournament for national teams for four, every four years in a World Cup. Just something a bit different. It may be one of those ones that looks better on players during the game and looks a bit sharper and cleaner, but... I don't know. I just hope for a bit more. And I hope for a bit more from some of these uh, other jerseys as well. But Andy, your take on this kit, the, the away one's okay, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I had the in, in, uh, same initial thought to Nick. It's very late 90s, early 2000s kind of look. And I, I guess that's kind of coming back in in other realms of society. And so maybe this is just what it's going to be. But I, all right, so I feel like we do this every single time that a new U.S. kit comes out. It's like, oh, it's so bad because of this, this, or that. I feel like we've been doing that every year for a long, long time. And so I went back and I pulled up on a page with all of them on the same page. I was like, is this one really as bad as all those other ones? And I found myself going the other way. There's a lot to like in the recent discography of U.S. men's national team kits in comparison to this. I would happily go back to, I think, but anything from... Since 2017, I would go back to um, just looking at them, the red and blue. Remember the Manchester United kind of zebra looking one, the red and blue one of that for the U.S. I thought was really underrated at the time and looks great in retrospect. They've had a couple of really simple but clean uh, uh, white shirts as well. And I really, really liked the gradient one that Nick brought up as well. So it feels like this is a really, really poor opportunity to kind of put out the worst of, you know, a long, long time. It's been you know, at least 2017, that solid red one. Uh, you know, I just, I just did not care for. It. There wasn't anything going on with it. So, yeah, it's disappointing that that if there is kind of a big, you know, like lifetime memory that occurs for the U.S. men's national team at this World Cup, it's always going to have, or maybe I guess, I guess they could be in the blue, but it's going to have that attached to it. It's going to have that visual, and it's like, oh yeah, that was the 2022 World Cup, the one in Qatar, the one in the winter, the one with that kit. Uh, just do not like it. Yeah, and it's a general trend across the kits and the rankings post at PST. You can see that a lot of companies have kept it very, very simple with these kit designs and almost just template. Just, okay, this is a different country. We put their badge on there, slightly different color on certain parts of the shirt, and then the rest of it is plain. So really interesting to see that kind of approach. Um, Again, we will hope for a bit more 
just personality, right? I'm thinking back to the 94 jersey, the iconic away jersey there, the gray one with all the stars across it. Um, and obviously, the bomb pop jersey from recent years, which was really, really popular as well. Um, so, yeah, I think good kits. Mexico is like way ahead of everyone else, in my <laughs> opinion. Their home, but particularly their away kit, is absolutely beautiful. And of course, we're fashion experts here at PST. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and Portugal, I love with the sort of two tone, the half and half with their two colors. I think that works really well. Um, Japan, epic. The away kit is one of those ones that just you can wear. You'll see it out in every yeah. major city very soon in the world with a pair of jeans on. France, classic. Argentina, classic. Can't really mess those up. Same goes with Brazil. Any other good kits, lads? I mean, I'm asking for your opinion on for England, maybe. Um, oh, I love yeah, the red. I, I'm going to ask you, Joe, England kit, the, the white one. Yeah. Similar to the yeah. US, if I'm honest. It could have been yeah. better. Um, I, plain white. It's such an iconic jersey. Just keep it plain white. I don't think you need the light blue things on the sleeve, whatever that is. I do love the away kit, though. The red away oh, kit, yeah. that is one that is retro throwback to, the, again, the early 90s kind of era so i love that and um yeah the only thing i care about is seeing harry kane and co banging a lot of goals in that kit so they can wear whatever they want but nick any other takeaways on, on other kits that you really like from this you know interesting selection so shall we say yeah i really really like the england red jersey and before i even knew that it was a throwback i just think it's a it's a it the using that little blue shade that is inoffensive yeah. to most premier league teams it's hard to use blue uh, in England without offending somebody. And I feel like that comes to when you're going to use a red shirt to start with, you're very careful about that. I don't mind the England shirts. I would trade both of those shirts for the U S right now. My big question is a negative one. It's this Puma is using, um, I like a lot of their designs, but how do you guys feel about the big numbers on the center? And I will add, add it to this. Why aren't the, why didn't the U S put that Jersey with that whole naked front why wouldn't you just show us what a number looks like? Show us what it's going to catch. That's what I'd like to see because that's what can change a jersey. But Maybe. what do you think of this, this gigantic front number we're seeing from some of these Puma shirts? Well, there will be a number right on the front of the jersey. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think there might oh, be the, a yeah. number for the US one. So that's that maybe will it. yeah. plug the gap a little bit. But yeah, again, it's clean for the most part. Some of them work better than others uh, with those kind of plain designs. So I'm not not there with it uh, andy positive wise i'm looking at the netherlands that like their away jersey is quite nice croatia's away jersey is quite nice but they have managed to change up the home jerseys for both the netherlands and croatia from iconic bright orange to a lighter kind of almost velvet orange it looks like <laughs> um and then croatia rather than the full checkerboard it's kind of a bit all over the place and gaps in it so i don't know it's some some companies have gone out there. Some companies have played it safe. There's a real mixture in these jerseys. Yeah, there is. I like the little, the, the subtle uh, kind of moves away from the classic looks of, of the two that you just mentioned there. And those were the two that I was, I was going to point out. You know, there is a risk of it always looking exactly the same if you have a classic look. And so I think for a World Cup, while there's obviously the, the obvious uh, you know, callback to what, what, what both those countries typically wear, there is something a little bit different. And, and I do like, like, I love buying kits of a player that has a season to remember, you know, Harry Kane's first season, 2015 Spurs go to the league cup final. That is the season in a number 18, by the way, not even number 10, like things like that, where it ties a visual memory to something, uh, you know, on the field. I, I really appreciate those things. Yeah, me too. Me too. And yeah, overall PST will keep ranking them as all the kits come out. But that is something people are going to really care about when the World Cup rolls around and what jersey they're buying. If they're not buying the US jersey, what other jerseys out there really catching their eyes. So just a reminder over at PST on our YouTube channel and NBC Sports's channel, after Japan against the USMNT coming up, we'll have live reaction, live Q&A. So get your questions in for us on the US team, but also maybe on the US jersey as well. Maybe you've got some thoughts on what you'd like to see moving forward. But there's always a lot of opinions out there. It's tough to get it right for everybody. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting for sure. And as fashionistas, we obviously talk about this quite a lot in our spare time, right, gents? Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos 
all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.